Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI, and this is a 66-year-old male who had a falling injury not too long ago. He has knee pain, and the physician was worried about the possibility of a fracture that was undiagnosed because the pain was so severe. And we see something that really jumps out here in the tibia. So to get the anatomy, this is the femur up top. The tibia is down below the knee joint. Here's the knee joint. On this view, we see the kneecap off to the left. We see the popliteal area back here. This is a view we're looking straight at the knee, so we can see the inner side of the knee where the knees would touch. This is the medial collateral ligament, the medial side. We see a medial meniscus. The meniscus is torn, actually, here. Here's the lateral side. And we see this big bone lesion in the tibia. This is the uh, metaphysis. And down here is the diaphysis, so it's kind of metadiaphyseal lesion. The margins are ill-defined. But we can see here on the sagittal view, there's no transverse line. There's no pathologic fracture through this. The bony cortex, which is a sharp black line, is nice and uh, well-defined. There's no break within the cortex. There's no periostitis or edema over the surface. And so there's no fracture. And so this does not look like it's uh, related to the typical fracture we see. Also, there's no bone expansion like we'd expect with a bone tumor an aggressive neoplasm, but a neoplasm is difficult to exclude when you see anything this large with this Ill, these ill-defined margins. It's difficult to exclude, but the most common thing this would be would be a bone infarction. So we believe this is just a bone infarction where the, it has lost the blood supply and the bone is starting to die and become necrotic. And these lesions, we start to see these sharply defined serpiginous margins, and eventually this will probably, the edema will go away and we'll be left with a, a, a bone lesion that has a sharply defined low signal intensity margins around their rim on certain sequences. And there's something that helps here. If we go to the sagittal view here, this is the medial femoral condyle looking nice and uniform and homogeneous. If we go to the lateral condyle, we see that there is an old bone infarction here, an old area of avascular necrosis. This is what it will look like eventually. On this coronal view here, we see the same thing where we have a sharply defined serpiginous margins the central area of low signal. So this is a classic lesion of an old bone infarction. And again, I believe this is going to end up being a really prominent acute bone infarction or avascular necrosis. And these can be incited by prior trauma. They can be related to sickle cell disease, radiation therapy, people with renal transplants or pancreatitis, or people with gout uh, can get these bone infarctions. People with steroid use can get these as well. So again, we believe this is going to be an acute bone infarction in the tibia, and there's an old bone infarction here in the uh, lateral femoral condyle, and the patient had some other findings again like that medial meniscus tear, a posterior horn tear, meniscus body tear, and uh, ACL had some signal in it, probably a mucoid de degeneration there. And that's it. Thank you very much.